Hello everyone, back with me again, Dennis Wang. Some time ago, I posted pick for this resin and asked how you guys want to test this resin. And this is your request. And I also did some tests of my own and today I want to share the result. Let's check it out. And these are all the print that I have done to test this resin. But first, I want to address about support removal. Even with the help of warm water, it is still quite difficult to remove the support by ripping it with bare hand. And it will just flex most of the time rather than break. So I suggest that you prepare a nipper in case you need it. This is normal resin. Any cubic skin standard for comparison, and this is proto white rigid. See, no snapping sound. Again, okay. you could easily rip any cubic standard resin print, it will just break and crumble. And for proto white rigid. It is very difficult to rip. For the exposure of proto white rigid resin, sorry, I mean proto white rigid, you need kind of high exposure. In comparison, any cubic standard resin at 0 0.03, usually printed at 1.622 seconds. And for proto white rigid, you need kind of like uh, three to four seconds at 0 0.03 millimeter. Now let's do some bending tests. First, I will bend the resin from any cubic. This is one millimeter. Okay, and this is proto white rigid, also one millimeter. It just fold in itself. Now let's test the two millimeter. Same, it just break. And two millimeter proto white rigid. It will not break. And this is at three millimeter. Oh, sorry. <laughs> this is proto white rigid, three millimeter. Still will not break. But it's kind of hold the shape here. Oh, weird. And this is at four millimeter. Yes, just break like that. Proto white rigid, four millimeter. Ooh. Okay. Five millimeters. Okay, break. And this is five millimeter. Oh my god still will not break but it kind of hold the shape after I bend it so the result is very good for this bending test now for the drop test i designed this model this is quite similar to some work that i done for my product and it will easily break the column on standard resin when you drop it just at the height of uh, the normal table height around 75 centimeters first test with any cubic standard resin <laughs> the result is clear. It broke in two. <laughs> and now, 
protowide rigid and it also broke in two now a second test with some minis that is any cubic standard and this is protowide rigid any cubic standard broke the shield proto white rigid survived the drop let's do more drop test with this mini figure with proto white rigid this time i'm going to slam it to the floor it survived it still survived any breaking let me check nope everything looking good let's have a quick analysis for this drop test model on any cubic standard resin missing two column i cannot find it but for proto white rigid all the columns still intact to the base and the top is broken and I know even with a stronger material, like maybe with plastic injection, this model has a very weak point at the column connect point here. But, well, we gotta test something to the limit, right? Or maybe extreme. But, at least for this minis here, the, the drop test result is very good. And even when I slam it to the floor, I cannot find any damage or broken part so the result is looking very good for the drop test on proto white rigid but maybe not on my model for my product here but it's all good in fact it is very good now let's check for shrinkage or dimensional accuracy so i designed this at 18.5 millimeters and 18.5 millimeters okay looking good and then with any cubic standard resin and that's it for the dimensional accuracy and string test. The result is very good for proto white rigid. And for printing minis, I would say the detail is not bad, considering that this resin requires a very high exposure, and this is printed at 0.03 millimeters. Let's check the details on this head sculpt. I spray some gray primer to help enhance the detail in the video. Let's have a closer look. This is a macro shot for the minis. All the details is very well captured with this proto white rigid resins and this is for one six scale head sculpt yep the pore and wrinkle details are still very good and someone requests to print little vein let me turn off all the lights and with the flashlight yep it is also very good for little pain because the pigment is not super opaque and light still could get through let me try another flashlight Yes, uh, it is looking much better with this flashlight. So this resin is also good for a little pain. Next, let's have a look at this buckle. First is any cubic standard. 
And then this is proto white rigid. And here buckle from my back. It is flexible and strong. Now I'll, I will try to bend. Will it break? Uh, yeah, it breaks so easy. And for proto white rigid, it it is very tough and flex, but it is not returning to the shape. I think it will return to the original shape, but it might take some time because compared to the first when I bent this, it ended up at 90 degrees and it now started to straighten itself. So this is quite good for making this prototype. And next I have these models here from Teco Toys. I will assemble it first. Okay, looking good so far. Hopefully nothing breaks. Uh, and I break something here. Okay. <laughs> Let's continue on. Mm, that is a very loud snap. Hopefully nothing breaks. And what about the legs? Don't break, don't break, don't break. Okay. I'm not there to push it further. I'm afraid it might... Okay, it doesn't break. The last part. Okay, I break the joint. So, this is my print Tackle Toys figure. And this one here, Tackle Toys print with auto white rigid. Okay, snapping good. And then the torso, also very good. Maybe hopefully nothing breaks. Wait, wait. Okay, so far so good. Everything just snap in place. Nothing breaks. Okay, okay. Oh, very good. It survived the assembly. So, portal white rigid, also good to print something that has articulation. It could easily survive. Now, for the torso, I will give it a nice twist. And then let's try to disassemble it. Uh, freaking hard. It's just jam. Wish me luck. Okay. You could see the rubbing parts turn white. This is normal to happen to standard resin when you rub two parts against one another. Now let's check the one with Proto White Rigid. Let's give it a nice twist. Okay, honestly, it is very hard to see. The white parts from any cubic. Let's try it again over here. See? The white except uh, sorry, the white that resulted from rubbing two parts together and with proto white rigid again, give it more Do we have any residue? I do not see anything. 
Now let's wrap these two part together. See it turn white. Yes. Now with proto white rigid. Nothing. Boom. Very good result. Now I'm going to test it with some heat. First, let's try hair dryer. It bends so easily. Now I'm, I'm going to place it down. And next with any cubic resin. Not enough. Uh, okay, let's try another one. Also breaks again. Okay, I give up. So does it count as it could hold the memory shape after apply heat? I think I did some mistake with the heat memory shape test. Now let's try it again. It definitely cannot survive high temperature because even with hair dryer, it became soft. Now let's dip it in the water to cool it down. And after an hour, it still holds the shape. Now I will try to apply heat again. Will it return to the original state? And then cool it down again. Yep, it returned to the original shape. So clearly, Proto White Rigid cannot withstand high temperature because only with hair dryer it start to deform. So do not expect this to work as high temp resin. Now I'm going to try to drill this buckle head and this object, which is thicker. The buckle head is thinner and I will not put it any guide hole to see will it crack or break under the stress of drilling. No crack or any part that break. Now let's try this thicker one. On closer inspection, definitely Nothing breaks or crack. And then next water absorption test. So first I will weigh this. Sorry, let me change the unit. 4.921 gram. Now I will dip in the water and leave it for 24 hours. I will check it again tomorrow and measure the weight again. Now it's been 24 hours. I'm going to take it out and then dry it 
and then measure the weight. Okay, now it is dry. Let's measure. Well, what do you know? 5.456 grams. So it is absorbing water and it becomes very soft as you could see here. So what do you think for this water absorption test? Let me know in the comment section. Resin pigment settle. I gave both a good shake in the bottle. Then pour in this clear plastic glass so we can see when the pigments start to settle. And this is to test how long or how fast does the pigment in the resin start to settle. And most people do not realize that this could affect exposure time because more pigment settle during print time means you need more exposure to cure the layer. That is why it is not good simply rely on validation metrics or similar model to calibrate your resin without taking into account for pigment settling. And you must adjust your exposure again when printing your real object. If you encounter any problem or fail print after calibrating your exposure. And for your information, I designed this exposure tester by taking into account of pigment settle. And if you want to download this calibration exposure model, you could check in the video description. It's called exposure tester. Now I will leave both resin and check back again from time to time. So now it's been 24 hours. We could see that the Anycubic standard resin, the pigment is already settled and I do not see any sign of pigment settle on photon white rigid and it is a very good result. So those are all my tests on this resin. Let me know your thoughts about this resin in the comment section. Also kindly like this video and subscribe to my channel. And if you want to support my channel directly, you could check my Patreon link in video description. And now for proto white rigid resin, there are several things that I want to note when you are using this resin. One, it has slightly higher viscosity compared to standard resin. Two, it is very sticky and takes quite effort to wash. Three, do not leave it for too long in the top when washing the prints. Also, do not use ultrasonic cleaner because it will end up too soft like this. See, compared to the one washed correctly. And the same things also happen during water absorption test. It is become very soft. And this is actually uh, very soft like this, but it looks like during time the the alcohol that got absorbed in the resin evaporate and become slightly more rigid this is the if you wash it correctly and for you will need the help of brush when washing the prints five the smell is very strong, so make sure you have a good ventilation or you can watch my previous video about air ventilation for resin printer. And at least finally now I can print small action figure with articulation.
and I don't have to worry that the joint will break or get loose too soon because I've been playing with this for the last like 24 hours <laughs> not full 24 hours but I do not see or feel the joint becomes too loose compared to the first time I assemble it so do you guys think this resin will be suitable for you see you guys in the next video